This is the final result of this tutorial. You can control a third person and shoot at things. So this is the final part of a three part tutorial and I will give you the link to the playlist in the description. So in the last episode we stopped where we can move around and we can look around. And that's it and now we need to make some kind of shooting logic. And therefore we create a new image in our canvas um, and choose some kind of sprite. If you have downloaded these packages, asset packages for the input, um, you will get some kind of outline or something. And we can use this for our purposes. So we will set uh, the color to red. And now we see some kind of a circle. Uh, make it a little bit smaller, like 50-50. And we will add an outline to it. That's also wet to make it a little bit bigger. So you can use your own crosshair, but um, that's my crosshair. Okay, let's go to the player and to the script. We have started to write the last time. So the first thing we want to add is some kind of an shooting animation. And therefore we check if the button is pressed and then we will include the shooting logic. Um, the player controller has a method called set arsenal and you can pass a string to it, for example rifle, and this will equip the player with a rifle and actions attack to start the animation for the attack. Okay, as soon as we click the button, the rifle is equipped. So one thing I wanted to change is we set the rifle directly on start. So the rifle is uh, directly in the player's hand. And we want to have some kind of a shooting animation. And therefore we have to set this complete code block in the else case because uh, when we have a look at these methods you will see that aiming is set to false and you need to be in the aiming state um, you see here on attack he first sets the aiming to true and then he fires so this is um, based on the state machine the animator has and so we set this in the else case and hopefully we are now able to shoot. Let us have a look. Yes, this looks pretty good. So we will add some kind of an effect, a particle system to the player. The particle system should be positioned directly under the player. Okay, this looks pretty good. And this is the position where the rifle will end. I guess this is correct. Okay, uh, we change the particles to red. We change the emission. The rate over distance should be, uh, over time should be null. Uh, null and the uh, burst should be around 30. This looks good, so just add one burst. And you will notice that the player will shoot some stuff and we have to adjust the shape. Maybe we have an angle of three and I guess this, this is looking okay. Maybe we set the angle to two, the radius to zero. and the speed to 50, the lifetime to 0 0.1, and just uncheck the play on awake, okay? So I'll just tweak the values a little bit until you're happy, okay. This is perfect, so we can start the code. This first thing we add is just a protected uh, particle system. Uh, 
and we get the reference with this get component uh, in children because it's not directly on the player particle system there we go and now we have a reference okay as soon as we um, press a button the action textured be played and we need some kind of cooldown because um, the shoot rate shouldn't be uh, 100 shoots per second maybe we uh, decrease it a little bit and have some kind of cooldown so protected float cooldown and as soon as the cooldown is zero or less we will shoot and every frame we will decrease the cooldown by time delta time okay so now we can shoot we should reset the cooldown to, a res uh, to this value 0 0.3 maybe this is okay this means around three shoots per second um, particle system play to play our animation and now we are um, creating a raycast so if physics and here I have to explain a little bit so raycast ray so uh, what's the way we will adjust the way every frame you do not have to do it every frame but uh, I will show you why I do this because I want to just show in the editor how the way will look like so the start or the origin of the way will be a uh, screen with Uh, divided by two and screen height divided by two zero so this is the middle of the camera so the middle of the screen and if you compare it to the camera um, point then you will have a way starting from the camera position and the direction is directly the direction uh, of the look rotation of the camera. So, okay, now we have to check, or maybe uh, I can just add a debug line, debug draw ray, it's ray origin, ray direction, and maybe a color that we will see, okay, red. And we have to check for other hit info collider get component shootable. So if we hit something shootable, um, shootable is not a class by Unity, it's a class we will create right now. So we go back in our scene and we will create something that is shootable. So for example, a 3D object and a cube. This cube is looking pretty fine. So, and we will add a shootable script. The script is just empty. Uh, it's just an empty script that you can create just to tag it as shootable. Um, the cube should be anywhere in the scene it should have a rigid body uh, with a mass um, the mass is depending on the weight so i will set it to 0 0.1 i think this is a good value for it uh, maybe i change the color and then we can continue so create a material make the material blue and we can drop it on this cube and replicate the cube and now you see the shootable uh, is known in our code and 
if we hit something shootable, then other is not null anymore because then it's bound to the actual object. So we start to cast away from our camera anywhere in the scene. And if this is a shootable thing, then we can get a component rigid body. Uh, you saw it, I added it on the editor. Uh, it's very important because then you have one method called add force add position. Okay, what's that line for? So we have a force and we have a position. So the position is a hit info point. So this is where the force is applied and this is where our target is and the thing or the position, we just shoot it. So, and this is a force that is applied to this position. So this is the strength, the 500. <coughs> if you increase this value, the shoot will be more effective. If you decrease it, it will be barely noticeable. Uh, and this is the direction and it, you can read it as this is a destination and this is the origin. So we shoot from our player to our hit point info and we apply this force. So now I can show you in the editor what actually happened. Um, we can maybe go to the camera. You see this is the way we are casting. And as soon as I turn or look up or down, oh, it's not implemented. Um, we should implement the up or down looking right now. So what we will need for this is this camera position and this camera position Y should be replacing the three here. And it should be modified by the touch field. touch distance y times the speed. Okay. Um, let's try this. Okay, it's working. You see the ray uh, changes the direction. It's exactly the same direction as this blue arrow here. Um, but we can go really high or really deep. We should clamp this by just using a function of a math class called math clamp. You can clamp a value between two values and these two values could be zero, five. You can't go deeper than the ground and you can't go higher than five. Um, we shouldn't add it. Just clamp this here. So the complete uh, value should be clamped and not just the clamped value added to the position. Okay, it's hard in this direction. If I go down, it goes up. If I go up, it goes down. So we will change this. Just change the plus, type a minus and Oh, that's, that's better. Okay, here is our stack of cubes. And we can shoot the stack. So that's it for today. We achieved everything we wanted. We can shoot, we can look, and this is a good starting point to create games like Fortnite. And um, yeah, try it by yourself. If you come this far like I did here, it's a hell of a lot of fun just shooting all the things and um, yeah. Request any other tutorials, just leave a comment, say I want to see this or that and then I can make a video.